So we'll discuss about segment routing v6. Basically, we'll discuss about the data plane and the difference between SR v6 with SR MPLS. This is the first thing we'll discuss because we'll start with the segment routing and then we'll see that how SR v6 will change that. Right? We have an IPv6 header, and based on that IPv6 header, we are using SRv6. So what that IPv6 in and what is that SRv6? And based on that, first we'll discuss about IPv4 first, and then we'll see about IPv6. In SRv6 SID that we are talking about, there are a divide in three parts of it. That is locator, and uh, function and arguments, right? Based on that, SRv6, SRH will work. We'll see that as well. And we'll have a lab, and based on that lab, we'll see that how we can go ahead and configure an SRv6, and we'll see that. Based on the configuration, we'll see what is the configuration will look like in different vendors. So data plane in SRv6, and SR MPLS, right? That what we'll go ahead and discuss about. Let's start with SR MPLS, and we will discuss about SR V6 gradually. First, we'll understand SR MPLS, and then we'll compare that with SR V6. In our example, I have six router topology, and based on that, we'll have uh, as one, two, three, four, five, six. That is, one is my source, and uh, six is my destination. And whenever a packet traverses through a MPLS network, so based on that, how that packet will be going across different paths. So we know that with with the MPLS, we need a stack, and based on that stack, we will need a labels. Labels based on that labels, it will identify which hop it will go, and from that hop, we can traverse to the destination. So in this, basically, I'll have a label which will going towards, so uh, I just missed out uh, 1006, that is the destination label. So based on this, I will go through, I will have a label stack and based on that, I will go and at R5, it will do a PHP, basically an implicit null. So what I'm trying to say is in MPLS environment, we are doing a label operation. But when we talk about an SRv6, so SRv6 is in general, rather than using a label, we are using an IPv6 header. And based on that IPv6 header destination address, the packet will be routed across the network. So again, the same path will go from 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, and 5, 6. And based on that, we'll have a packet which will get encapsulated with an IPv6 header now. And based on this IPv6 header, Generally, it will go through a routing process in order to reach the destination. So this is how, this is what we are replacing from an MPLS stack perspective to an IPv6 header. And we'll see in our course that how gradually we'll move forward with this. So let's talk about IPv6 and SRv6. They are not same, but where all we will use that. So when we talk about an IPv6, basically IPv6, we assign it to a physical interface. We assign it to a virtual interface. We assign it to a logical interface, right? We configure IPv6 similar to IPv4 that we configured before, right? But when we talk about an SRv6, so SRv6 is nothing but a segment identifier. It will identify a segment. And based on that segment and that particular segment, we have follow a set of, it will contain a set of instruction. The question is, how does IPv6 transport what all things it will transport? It will only transport IPv6? No, it will not tra only transport IPv6 traffic. It will going to transport, means the packet will be encapsulated and IPv6 traffic and IPv4 traffic as well as Ethernet traffic as well. So whenever we talk about a transport, it will it will encapsulate all kind of traffic that we are having. IPv4, IPv6, and Ethernet. So IPv6 generally it forms just creating a tunnel between the 
endpoints or you can say the provider edge routers and based on that tunnel basically it will carry it will whether it will be running across a bgp free core path or a traffic engineering purpose that it will go there is a question arise here so what was the question question is how does ipv6 will become a sid also how ipv6 will create a label stack for example like an mpl stack that we are having and then how it will get advertised thinking about it and how can we transport an with an ipv6 an ipv4 payload or an ethernet payload right so how srv6 will transport my ipv4 payload this the this is what the question is and next what we can go ahead see that how it will be so basically we'll be discussing about this data plane we'll discuss about ipv6 over srv6 is create a tunnel how it all what all transport is there so next we'll discuss about how to send a traffic through a path using srv6 we'll see that in our next section thank you